My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here, back with a new review for Arrow. And this is episode 10 of the show's second season. And it's titled Blast Radius. In this episode, um, Oliver is trying to look for the guy with the, in the skull mask who we know as Brother Broad, and we all know who it actually is, but it's just fun to see him trying to figure it out himself. And um, in this episode, and first I want to say, spoiler alert, it's, it's minor spoiler alert, because I'm not talking about the entire episode. Um, a guy that calls himself Shrapnel is setting bombs off in the city, because he thinks, you know, politic, the the people in the government are all corrupt. And um, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, who Shrapnel is, Shrapnel, he's a supervillain from the DC Comics, um, primarily a villain of the Outsiders and the Doom Patrol. So this show, it, it puts it down to a realistic, no powers, because in the comics, uh, he is made of organic metal, and the, the metal parts of his body, he can uh, cre uh, make explosions with, just like a bomb with shrapnel. Uh, but he can regenerate that uh, part of his body they used, and he can even control the entire explosion. And based on the flashbacks, we find out that um, that the Mirakuru affects you psychologically. So uh, that was very interesting to see. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering how uh, Slade is going to find out when he finds out in the flashbacks that Oliver is... Uh, kind of responsible for Shadow being killed. I mean, you know, he does find out at one point. But, uh, you know, one of the things I don't understand is, um, okay, they've kind of shown that, oh, now we're going to have superpowers, but we're still not going to have it at the same time because they've set up Barry's origin. Um, they set up Slade having his powers. Because even in the comics, he has metahuman abilities. Pretty much like the what the Mirakuru gives him. So, I don't understand why they don't put in the superpowers. I mean, they kind of should by now. And, you know, some of these characters won't seem so weird without abilities. I, I'm just being honest about it. But, um... It was, a, it was a good it was a good episode overall and um, I also want to get out uh, my thoughts on the mid-season finale since I really wasn't able to review it uh, I would say it was the the best thing about the season so far because of Barry Allen so he helped the show he saved the show and it kind of gets your excitement up for that flash TV show coming out later this year, from what I've been told, and I would say fall, because that's when all the great shows come out. Uh, you know, I'm just it just it just pumps me so up, and I'm guessing when it comes to Roy, I'm guessing he's not gonna be Red Arrow now. I'm guessing they're going with more of an Arsenal type of sidekick because I was thinking Red Arrow because you know one thing you know from Young Justice uh, and an another thing was that he kept on wearing a red hoodie but may maybe that was just to show hey this is this is Roy Harper but uh, I'm very excited to see what happens next with the show um, but uh, you know, I just I just hope that the show still continues on with the interests, and you know maybe 
eventually we could get super-powered people. I really want that to happen. I mean, I mean, I'm not talking about Smallville type of stuff, you know, have its own thing going on, you know. And um, that's pretty much it, my review. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the episode in general. Were they the same as mine? Or were they different? And um, what are some things that you would like to see in the remaining season? Um, one thing I'd like to see is a new Deathstroke costume. I mean, all it is is type of a military type outfit and you know the mask, but like an updated version. I mean, somewhere along the lines of Arkham Origins Deathstroke costume, because that was pre. I have to say that was a pretty badass costume, but that's it for my review. And um, for those of you who are into video games, you can check out a website that I'm a, that I am a part of called New Game News. Uh, it's new-game-news.com. We just started it, so uh, soon you'll be seeing news on there on video game related stuff you'll be seeing stuff on our po about our podcast reviews anything it's just video game related and uh, you know if you can maybe help me keep up with the video game related news since I am back at this time I'm not going anywhere I'm Jimmy till next time bye